who admires the world also honors Satan. Whoever renders to the world also renders to Satan. Those words are harsh and will hit all the worldly people in a sensitive way because nobody wants to be accused of having ties to Satan and yet, the world is his kingdom and everyone who is enslaved to the world is thus his servant. It is true, you people are placed in the midst of the world, and it is true, you have to take a stand in the world as long as you live on earth, however, the degree of participation of your heart is decisive as to how much you are subject to the world. It is the innermost striving, the desire of the heart, which is judged and if it is aimed for the world you are then certainly enslaved to the one who its ruler is. For then your thinking is merely directed earthly while you ought to strive for the spiritual and you therefore need to overcome matter io to obtain possession of the spiritual. You cannot avoid the world but, rather, you must overcome it. That is to say, you are standing at the start of your earthly life as a human being in this material world which belongs to the opponent of God, with which, the world you must take up the fight io to then emerge as a victor and thus to enter that one world which is spiritual, called the kingdom of God. The walk through the earthly life, through the earthly world, you do have to go but you ought to rid yourselves from your bonds which have to be considered as chains of Satan, as long as you are in the spell of the world, as long as you look with desire at everything you ought to overcome, that is, the material world is his kingdom, it holds the fallen spiritual belonging to him but of which he is not in charge as long as it is bound into the works of creation by means of God's will. The human being, however, he can influence because in the condition of a free will he needs to be subject to every influence io to make a decision, to give the test of will, which is the reason and purpose of his earthly life and this influence is truly made use of in a frightening manner by the opponent of God. He does not want to lose the spiritual by means of a free decision of its own. That's why he lures man unto his side by illusions of all that which appears desirable to him, but which belongs to his, Satan's, world, which separates him from God, which makes him turn away from the destination that he is to reach on earth. He, Satan, is lord of matter, lord of the earthly world and everyone who serves the world serves him. Everyone who desires the world and involves with earthly goods involves with Satan and they need to be told this truth, they cannot, out of a false consideration, be dealt with gently by withholding this truth. They are connected to Satan and whose servants they are of that one's lot they will also take part when the day of retaliation will come. There are two lords wrestling for your souls and both of them offer you their kingdom. But the one, is transitory. The other one will last forever. Your very self, however, is immortal and if, on earth, you have not acquired the immortal kingdom there will remain nothing but utter darkness surrounding you after your body's death which will unsparingly torment you, the kingdom of Satan which cannot offer you anything else, but whose, followers you have increased by means of your desires on earth. Separate yourselves from him as long as you walk on earth, give up that which belongs to the world, strive for the intellectual wealth, in Jesus, the only one of which will guarantee you an eternal life, a life in light and power and bliss. Amen.